What's up, Pandus? Peter Von Pandy here. Just wanted to whip out a couple of my balls <clears throat> uh, and show you. The first one here is uh, a ball diver watch. If you're familiar with the uh, ball watch, it's a very nice, uh, a nice watch. This one is a ball engineer master two diver and uh, it is called the black with gold accents it has a I believe PVD coating which is black and dark but uh, as you know on those coatings they kind of have this anodized aluminum type of finish so it's a it, to me it actually looks a little kind of like black brownish uh, and the gold accents are kind of unique here because they uh, give it a little bit more of um, Oh, I don't know, a, a rich or a luster uh, look that doesn't have that doesn't come on some of the the other balls, which are kind of just the stainless steel. This this watch is also available in another version, which is I believe just kind of the stainless steel look with a, a green outer or inner bezel there, um, and it also is available with a bracelet uh, band. This one obviously has the rubber band, and it's got a release clasp here. Um, so this is a good, nice watch. I'm not a diver uh, per se, but it's uh, water resistant to 300 meters, I believe. Screw down crowns, a rotating uh, inner bezel there uh, for diving. So this uh, this piece in particular, with everything on that outer outer bezel, will rotate so you can kind of tell underwater how much time you have. Uh, the other cool things here are that. It's an automatic, just like uh, most of the balls, and this one uses an Eta movement, a, a great, uh, a fantastic movement. Uh, but one of the coolest things is these tritium gas tubes, and you can see on the outer uh, bezel here, they are in the numbers, which is why the numbers are so blocky. They are, they are included along the entire length of the the gold outer bezel here on these uh, the hour and minute hands, and then also at the hour marker. So the 12, which does not rotate, and then the uh, hour marker for 3, 6, and 9 are also glow-in-the-dark. So this thing really lights up, and as you know, tritium is radioactive, um, and so it does not require exposure to light to stay, to keep the phosphor uh, lit up and emanating light. Uh, 25 years is what I believe the advertised uh, length of time that they will work without having to put some more tritium paint on there, but so that's very cool So you don't have to even expose the light go underwater You should be able to keep the keep uh, being able to read the time in the inner bezel here It's got a 24-hour clock, which um, is, is pretty nice if you if you use military time But who does this uh, crown here controls the bezel movement the unidirectional bezel movement? And this one obviously controls the time and the and the remote date a little bit smaller watch here 42 millimeters is probably the uh, even a little bit smaller than I would like to wear. It uh, looks fairly small on the wrist, um, but small watches are actually making a little bit of a comeback, a little more sleek than some of the bigger, bulkier, more blingy watches. And the nice thing is it's it's pretty thick. Uh, I believe uh, I thought almost 14 millimeters on this. On the back. No uh, peekaboo window to see your your cool movement, but it does have uh, the diver on the back here showing you it's a diver's watch. On um, the stainless steel one, I believe it, there is a submarine um, embossed on the back. So very cool. Uh, one of the things that I really like about the the ball watches are the RR logo um, that they stamp into the back end of the second hand here. It's kind of a, a unique feature because it's a really intricate logo and shows kind of the, um, the, the really precise work that they do on, on these watches. So a uh, nice sweeping second hand motion. Very, very nice watch. Um, this one is a few years old, but they continue to make this exact same model today, I believe. It's about $3,000 retail, and so it's not uh, a super high-end ball watch, but it kind of falls in that kind of low mid-range for, for these watches. So, very cool. Um, definitely check it out. Uh, ball Engineer Master 2 Diver. Uh, a lot of bang for your buck on this watch, and especially if you have splash around in the water. Um, they are definitely fun to have around. And, again, the Panda also likes the fact that Ball, while a, a good brand, isn't um, as obvious or contrived as wearing a Rolex. Not to say there's anything bad about it, but it's a little bit more of a brand for the, for the watch guys that are in the know. 
um, so you don't have to feel like you're showing off uh, by wearing something that's going to be um, uh, kind of more instantly recognizable. Guys that like watches will will respect this. So Peter Von Panda out.